what's good everybody uh i wanted to do this one real quick about the skunk so um you know i had done spirit animal videos before i think on my other channel but um it's funny i'll just say it real quick like i'm not gonna be reading off of nothing i'm just gonna go off what i know from the skunk because i just ran into one this morning and you know that's how it happens it's so random it was like in the middle of the city and um you know there i was driving and you know it's like pitch black outside and here goes this little skunk just crossing in front of me and then i stopped the car <clears throat> and when i get off to record a video of it i had to put like my video turn on the light real quick and then when i look for it it just disappeared it's gone right i mean there was some kind of brush but it was low to where i was like i just can't find the skunk what happened to it you know so so that's what even made it, I guess, more special in that sense. But so this is the story real quick, right? So yesterday I had to go to a family function and on my way there, I saw 666 a couple times. And, you know, it doesn't always mean something bad, but I know when it's kind of warned me for something because they know I know, you know, what it means. Like, you know, the, the symbolism it has. So it's been used as a warning to me tons of times, right? That's funny. This light, I didn't even realize it was it was off, and then boom, it just turned on as I was saying that. So that's so crazy. So, anyways, um, you know, it has a certain meaning to me. So okay, I was like, that's odd. Like I don't feel nothing weird, but then I was kind of on guard. But then when I get to this family function, um, you know, which I wasn't gonna end up going, but last minute, I took care of stuff and I ended up having time to go. So, um, yeah, and if I'm breathing hard because I was just working out and then I was like, ah, let me do this video real quick. Okay, so anyways, I, I know that was TMI, but still, whatever. Okay, so anyways, um, so I'm all, you know, I get to the family function and then, you know, I guess I didn't realize, like, you know, people were drinking. So when people drink, they do stupid things, but I don't let, I don't make excuses for people anymore. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm way too old to be making excuses like usually i try not to be in those environments but i guess i just you don't expect that with family at some point even though i guess you should but i just was i had my guard down and someone kind of crossed the line with me and you know i reacted but then it stayed in my head like that should have never happened like like you shouldn't have had to watch that with family and they should know better you know what i mean so it it left me, even I was thinking about it even this morning before I saw the skunk. So that's why, since the skunk is about setting boundaries. So I'm going to get to that. But anyways, it was like, um, you know, it was still bothering me. I was like, wow, because I don't want to have to have that talk with this family member. Like, hey, dude, like you crossed the line. You know what I mean? Like, like, I don't even know. Like, like you can't, because if it was someone like on the street, I would have probably just, you know, broken them off. Right. Like punched them in the throat face with a stomped on them whatever like it was it's it's lines that that people don't cross with me so to have family members even though i reacted so it kind of but still it didn't feel balanced to me because it shouldn't have happened to begin with so the skunk is all about setting boundaries and i love the skunk if there's ever an animal that why well, you know I, re, I have messages from all animals but the skunk i love the skunk because it's really the most graceful animal right it's just trotting along it has all the confidence in the world. Um, and see, that's the problem. That's why you see a lot of skunks get run over because sometimes it's too confident, right? So that could be a message in itself when you see dead skunks. But this one was alive and well, right? So it has all the confidence in the world. It's trotting along. It's graceful. You know, they're like adorable. Not to say like I'm adorable, but I'm just saying like like the skunk has that really carefree nature, right? And, and um, it, so, so it's just trotting along. And... Uh, it doesn't want to spray you because once it sprays you, it takes 10 days to replenish. So it, it's kind of like its only little way of uh, protecting itself. Not the only, but it, pretty much its main one, right? Like to spray you and, and it messes you up. You know, I've even seen videos where they spray a bear and the bear just takes off running, right? Like a huge bear against a little skunk, right? So that's how it is. They don't want to spray you. Like they have better things to do. They're just busy enjoying life, hunting for food or whatever like enjoying the flowers like the most graceful animal but they will spray you but they don't want to because then it takes too much then they have to wait another 10 days just to replenish and that's how it kind of went right it got in my head like damn now i gotta do something now i even gotta set a boundary now i gotta be like you know what you disappointed me 
And I'm even thinking, is it even worth the energy? Or do I just cut this person off, even though it's a family member? See, that's, it, it's, it's, it's unnecessary. It wasn't necessary. So then now you just got to set boundaries, see? And if you set boundaries with one person, then you got to set boundaries with other people because it's like, damn, you wouldn't have thought that. You would have thought that around family, you could breathe easy, right? So, you know, the skunk just came in to, I guess, remind me to set those boundaries, right? And like I said, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an animal that, it has better things to do, right? Yeah, and it has all the confidence in the world. It's good. It's just, it's just in its own little lane, uh, in its own world, you know, and all that stuff. So, yeah, and, you know, if you want to think about other stuff, too, you know, it, it's close to the ground. So, it's a very grounded animal, right? Yeah, you could just see, like, like a lot of the times the spiritual messages come with that. Like, the way it's just very, very grounded and all that. So, I mean, that's the message I got for from it right now. You know, I guess... That was a very important lesson. Like, I guess I just can't let my guard down. I could enjoy life and everything, but I guess I just got to set boundaries. Like, people got to know, like, hey, you you don't cross this line. And usually I'm really good with, with telling people that ahead of time. But like I said, it just caught me off guard. Even though they were giving me the 666 message before, I, that was my fault. See, like, you know, they always warn me, like, ahead of time that... They're really good about doing that with me. And, um, you know, but it was good. It, I felt great. See, it was almost like, you know, they were not like the spirit world understands what happened. And they're just saying like, hey, you know, it, it just is what it is. You got to remember like the skunk. There's nothing wrong with setting boundaries. It, it is, you know, for some like, like animals, like the skunk, it's natural, right? Not just the skunk, but look at the rattlesnake, right? It throws up the rattle. It doesn't want to bite you. It throws up the rattle. It, it even goes to that extent to throw up its rattle and warn you because it doesn't want to bite you. It's like, hey, you're getting too close. I'm even warning you. You know what I mean? It's not like a, a, a mountain lion that will, you know, you, by the time you see the mountain lion, it already pranced on you and, and you're you're done. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they're like an apex predator. Like, well, if you see them, it's because they wanted you to see them, basically. You know what I mean? So it's like that. So, yeah, that's my little thing about the skunk. If I left other stuff out, feel good to... Put it in the comments. Like I said, I didn't read nothing about it. I was just, uh, you know, from what I know and what I felt the spiritual message was this time. Obviously, it has a lot more meaning. But, uh, you know, I was thankful to see it. I was definitely grateful that I saw it this morning. It was so random. And, you know, it went with the story of what happened. All right. Cool. Hope you guys are well. Peace. Feeling it, you know what I'm saying? Just feeling it. <laughs> and I wanna feel this way forever. Yeah.